Hello, troublemakers. Welcome into another movie commentary Monday. We got a sad one. Sad. Sad, sad. <laughs> it's sad because it's the end of an era. It really is. The Kissing Booth 3, the final one. I hope. I pray that they're not gonna pull like an after and they're just like, oh, well, we got the original trilogy and then there's like eight more movies after, so get ready for a lifetime of cringe. I went and watched my Kissing Booth 1 and 2 videos just to kind of refresh myself. And when I was watching the Kissing Booth 1, my commentary for it, I realized how different my life is from when this started. And that just kind of made me sad. Until I hate myself. Very nostalgic. So in order to give our respects to this film, I am going to forgive three cringe moments. The first three cringe moments that happen, I'm not gonna say a word about it. Just gonna let it slide right under the rug. How long is this movie gonna be? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm already sad it's gonna be over. But I'm also happy. It's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Uh, the graphics on the water. Yep. After graduation. I forgot that's how the Kissing Booth starts their films. Just like, oh, here's the montage and just explaining everything. Putting off the inevitable decision between the two colleges where I got accepted. <laughs> that's the problem with this film. Too many colleges want me. Too many elite universities in the U.S. want me to attend their school. Uh, how do I decide? My life is so difficult. We camped in the woods, went fishing on a lake, <laughs> drove to San Francisco, watched our naughty video from Chemistry Lab. <laughs> What? You were on the security cameras banging in a classroom on some desks? How did you get access to this footage? Who else has seen this? Are you not embarrassed? I was thinking when you get off the wait list for Harvard, maybe you and I could get an apartment together. Like get our own place? No, stop. Well, hold on. He's super duper rich. So he's gonna get like a luxury apartment. And you know, he's the kind of guy, he's rich. He's not expecting her to pay with her broke ass. Look what I got. <laughs> I hate this girl so much. She's, I think, 31 or 32. Playing an 18 year old. Can you decline calls from Harvard? I feel like if you decline their call, they're just like, all right, fuck you. We have so many more applicants. Like, we don't need you. You need us, bitch. Is everything okay? Yes, I would like that very much. Oh, yeah, I thought you might. Where are you two going? Mm. Oh, they're gonna go bang. I'm pretty damn sure I'm gonna be having my Rachel withdrawals. I'm gonna be having my Rachel withdrawals, bro. Okay. This place is so nice. Gosh, she's not into it! What's wrong? I, well, he's a little bit too clingy. I, no, I can't blame her for that one. But, like, he's super rich. Let him do his dumb, clingy shit. <laughs> Any big plans for the summer? We were all talking about heading over to the beach house. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. <gasps> oh, they had to sell the beach house because they're poor now. Oh, yes. Holy shit. I'm going to be so satisfied if everyone's poor. We are planning to sell the beach house. Because they're poor. Wait, so where are we going to watch the fireworks on the 4th of July? No, I'm sorry. I'm putting my foot down. You guys are not selling. I got to go with <laughs> Flea on this one. <laughs> Imagine your spoiled rich kid saying, I'm putting my foot down, parents. You're not allowed to sell this excess house that you have because we want to use it once in a while. Nope, 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 nope. I would slap the shit out of my kids. Not really, I'm not a violent person. I, I'm not really like with that spanking and hitting stuff, but I would be thinking about it. <laughs> Is this a vote? Because I vote no. Oh, imagine, imagine this little poor brat dating your son saying, I don't think you should sell your house because I want to inherit it. Fuck this girl. Sorry guys, it's been decided. Because they're poor. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down because I'm having too much fun already. I think I'm creating extra plot lines because I just know if I want to enjoy this experience, I have to create them for myself because the movie's not gonna create them for us, you know? I'll be right back. Hello? This better not be. This is Don Washington from UC Berkeley's admissions. <laughs> the admissions offices have been getting ghosted by her so much that they had to hide their call so that she would answer. <laughs> just move on. We need your decision by end of business day tomorrow. Don't go to college. Colleges end up being scammed sometimes anyways. Who fucking cares? The next day, we all drove down to the beach house to do something I never thought I'd have to do. Help the Flynn's get ready to sell it. <laughs> Sucks for you. Oh, that was a nice beach house, huh? No, stop. Stop. We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this sentimental montage. For a location the audience has never seen. You can't. You can't do that to us. We have to have fond memories watching these characters in this location 
for us to then have any sort of feeling for like the house being gone or sold. You can't just have the characters be like, oh, I'm gonna miss this house and then expect us to give a shit. I had spent literally every summer of my childhood hanging out here with me. And we've seen none of it! This is how you like end a series. I guess the ending of Friends. They leave the apartment, close the door, close upon the thing. So many shows end like that because you have such like an attachment to the place, but the people are moving on. They're, in, they're going to a new part of their life. But you can't do that here because we've never spent a single goddamn second of movie in this beach house. So having this big send off for this beach house that none of us have ever seen or known about. What are you doing? It's too rich. Look at how blue that water is. They got some top notch coastal property. This is ridiculous. They're too fucking rich. We need to make one pile for the stuff we want to keep. Another pile for things we want to put in bags and donate. Everything's going to end up in the keep pile, right? This time we have to save the day. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I hate myself. Wait, is that what I think it is? It's our beach bucket list. Uh, this film better not be a fucking bucket list. A before college bucket list. I will literally throw up. How long does it usually take to sell a house out here? We have to put it on the market, but I don't know, maybe two or three months. They haven't even started the process of selling the house. Well, then they're keeping the fucking house, despite their financial woes. <laughs> that I've created for this, for the sake of the enjoyment of this film. Your wishes are a command. Okay. I, love I don't care. Just decide. I really don't care what you decide either. I've made a decision. She said no to Berkeley. Harvard. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, do not run away, like a little bitch. These are fucking four-year-olds. Now this is like how like an eight-year-old would react getting sad news. They're like, no, I want to be by myself. And then they run off. Please. What's there to talk about? You know, this is just the way things go, right? We've done this. That's what the first two films were, is like accepting that you're growing up and you've had your outbursts and then you've solved it. Stop. He's too clingy. He's got some issues. Okay, you're leaving me. <laughs> He's like the quintessential spoiled rich kid. From like age eight to 18 now, he has not grown at all. He's still a petulant little child. You're going to a different college? <laughs> Just runs off. Oh. All I wanted to do was show him how much he meant to Not me. Not the fucking bucket list. <laughs> the best summer ever. I promise. She's like walking on eggshells with him. He's such an emotional disaster. Bro number 18. What? Yeah. He got into Harvard. Whoa! He's been breaking that rule for a long ass time! I've got a really good feeling about this. They never truly want Your parents are having financial difficulties. Don't not sell the house. He, he, and then his brother's going out and fixing his mistakes, which is gonna be his whole life if he doesn't learn a lesson by getting slapped by his father. You can't, yo, oh, he's just petulant. He's a petulant little child. Are you a Berkeley guy? Yeah. I started in the fall. Get out of here, man. Seems like a nice new friend. Not you going to a school away from your best friend, being jealous that your best friend found a new friend. Not, that's not happening. Why is everything so goddamn toxic? Our bucket list. One, two, three, go! Oh, please montage through this. Yes! <laughs> I don't know if I like how they're doing this or if I'm just so happy that we don't have to spend this whole goddamn film going through this dumbass bucket list. We're not gonna be able to do all of our bucket list items. Bucket list item number 22, live together at Berkeley. They have so many goddamn lists. There's like the friendship list, there's this bucket list. Like, can you stop listing things and giving them numbers? I accept your offer. Oh, what are you doing here? We were hungry. That makes sense. Hey. Hey, loser. What you up to? <laughs> Why in back-to-back -back scenes are you bringing back questionable love interests for the two main protagonists? I, I, we're over this, right? We're not doing the jealousy thing again, right? You should come by our place for a bit. Oh, wait, didn't I say I was gonna forgive cringy shit? Okay, so the next three cringy things that happen, not gonna say a word. You rush out of the house, so... Look how bad the shot is. I, I actually like some of the stuff that they're doing uh, to spice up visually. And I talked about that in the, the commentary for the second film. But just look how boring the shot is. Because they, they're not really properly lit. Which makes sense, because the location. You don't want to have unnatural lighting on them. But then just look at the background. It's grade nothingness. 
It'd be great if you put some more lights back there. Chloe's actually gonna be in town. I told her it would maybe be cool if she wanted to stay at our place for a bit. Is that okay with you? Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. So totally random. I ran into Marco and his family eating at the restaurant. So he's gonna help us with this cool bucket list thingy. Oh, hmm. That's kind of a double standard. I was totally fine with Chloe. Ah, uh, it's not a double standard because I didn't kiss the girl and you kissed the guy on stage in front of thousands of people. A little bit different. Oh, I didn't kiss Chloe. Oh! oh! Fucking got him! Why the hell not? Look, Lee, I'm not gonna wear a costume. And whatever this uh, little mission is that you got going, but... Oh, it's the Mario Kart thing, right? I saw it on the bucket list. They're gonna dress up as fucking Mario characters. What does a girl gotta do to get water on table uh, 17? Jeff Jeff! Yes, ma'am, I'm on it! <laughs> Only the fucking rich kid would just put on an apron and work for free. You don't work here. Like, yeah, no, you don't gotta pay me. I'm super fucking rich. I get everything set up for you at the water park. Is Noah helping out too? Ah, <sighs> you know, typical Noah. We couldn't get him to wear the costume. No, Linda already made me some. Linda? Oh! oh, oh. oh. Why in a Wattpad stories or any fanfic are people always spilling shit on each other? Your dad and I were wondering if you could have dinner with us. I'm, I, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. Okay. Well, your mom was an old friend of mine. It'd be nice to talk about her with you a bit. Uh, a little pro advice for anyone going into a new family. Don't talk about their dead mother. I say that's probably just like the number one thing. Like I'd save that conversation for like when it feels right. Hey, I used to know your mom. I'm hoping to take her place in your family. You don't, you don't really give a shit, right? <laughs> how? I've been sitting here for, oh my God, how are we only half an hour in? I feel like I've done a full movie commentary already. Can we just wrap this up? Can we just call this a full commentary? It was nice to meet you. Fire. Ah, was that creepy? Ah, pass. She gets a pass. Zip, I'm not gonna say a word, but I will reenact it. I hope that girl killed her mom because she knew her mom. Maybe she wanted a spot in their family. So she killed Elle's mom. This is canon. This is part of the story now. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> Oh my god, your brother is adorable. <laughs> that would be me. I would be Noah if I had a petulant little child. Except he wouldn't be landing in water. He would be landing in a pit of snakes. <laughs> so yeah, we did end up going to the comic book show. After that, we 80s mini golf night. Oh my. Uh, whoa, 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 wait a second. You did a bucket list item, but not with the person you created the bucket list item thing with. That's foul. That's a little bit foul. Anyway, I'm really sorry, Lee. Oh, it's just, did she blow him off? As long as we're still good for tomorrow. Also, action's gonna come too. I don't like this guy. This guy, as an actor, he feels like emptiness on screen. I don't know how to put it, but like anytime he's in a camera shot, I want to look anywhere else. It's like an empty part of the frame. He doesn't have enough charisma or like screen presence to make me want to look at him on screen. If his, his frame was just all white right here, you'd be like, all right, let me look at something interesting. Nope, nope, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I thought we were done with the whole jealousy thing, but no. What exactly are they gonna do? I'm so stupid. Hold on a second. Something looks different with him. His hair looks better that it was the last film. Maybe he's using Function of Beauty custom shampoo and conditioner. I bet that's what it is. This video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. Let me ask you a question. Do you shower or are you Jake Gyllenhaal? For those of us who do shower, most of us go to the store to pick shampoo off the shelf. That's no bueno. Why? Because those are plain formulas, not specific to your hair type. In steps Function of Beauty. How does it work? You take their hair quiz. You just answer a couple questions. They ask you about your type of hair. Is your hair straight or curly? Is it thin or thick? Do you have a dry scalp or do you have an oily scalp? You also pick out hair goals, whether you want to lengthen, hydrate, strengthen, condition, or any other number of goals. Bing, bang, boom, Function of Beauty compiles all the information you tell them and they customize a formula just for you. Clean ingredients, great scents, and it's made to fit your hairstyle specifically. And best yet, you're gonna get 20% off your first order if you use my link, which I will leave in the description below. Click that link, get your own custom formula, and take care of your hair, people. Also, sorry to Jake Gyllenhaal, I didn't mean to come at you like that, but I just, I would just recommend showering more. But like, just live your life, you know, do you? Thank you again to Function of beauty. <laughs> I like this. Because the boyfriend wouldn't put his pride aside and be like, yeah, I'll do your stupid little bucket list dressing up as Mario Kart characters on a racetrack. I'll just watch. 
And then the other guy that wants her is like, no, no, no. I'll put my Prada aside to have a little fun. <laughs> Give me a helmet. <laughs> oh yeah, now. Toxic. So toxic. Why is she on the track? I have a feeling someone's gonna get seriously injured. <sighs> Don't get your hopes up, Dylan. <laughs> This is the third. I'm not. I'm not gonna say a word about this. This is the third cringe pass that you get. Pretty boy, what are you doing? Winning. Serious injury. Serious injury. Serious injury. Oh my god. Someone's gonna get paralyzed. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Why no injuries? Well, then what's the fucking point? Is everything okay? No, Mario. Everything is a disaster. Why the guy that you kissed in front of the whole world no. is wearing the costume that no. you asked me to wear? No. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> That's why. Don't be mad at her. I don't know. Fuck it. Everyone be mad at everybody. I don't give a shit. It's embarrassing. I mean, she's standing there in a full Mario costume. A cartoon plumber. Everything about this is embarrassing. Is everything okay? Her parents are divorcing. Uh, yeah, my dad just told me that him and my mom are getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking joking. I need to leave. I need to leave. What is that? What? Wait a minute. I cannot believe they're getting rid of our DDM machine. We're still on for tonight. Right? We put a lot of work in this, so we can't be late. Yeah, no, don't worry. I won't be late. <laughs> She's gonna be late. <laughs> oh, not her dad romancing the killer of his wife. Oh, it's Noah. One to make up for yesterday. I have this thing with Lee, and it's like we've been planning it for Please, weeks. Please, you're I... actually gonna go? I mean, I made you dinner. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> hey, you okay? Flash mob, not fucking flash mob. She fucking blew off her boyfriend romantically setting up a private dinner for them on the beach for her to do a fucking flash mob with her boyfriend's brother. Why is Marco here? Why is Marco here? Why did you ditch your boyfriend to do a flash mob with your boyfriend's brother and the man you kissed on stage in front of your boyfriend? <laughs> I, I can't take her side. I really, I just, I'm trying. I was doing the bucket list to soften the blow to leave. How is there fucking an hour left? How have we only been through 45 minutes of film? Brad? Brad? <gasps> what if her brother got kidnapped? Yeah. Oh. I thought maybe the, the, the woman that killed her mom, and who's now trying to infiltrate the family, maybe kidnap the son, try to like negotiate her way into the family. I'm right here. Well, yeah, but I was supposed to come get you. Yeah, but the fucking, the murderer came in and picked him up instead. She's trying to push the daughter out. You saw her face before. Murderer face. How much longer on table 25? <laughs> son of a bitch! We hit the other trope, the other fanfic trope of flinging food in the air as you fall. Must, dude, you gotta go. You're just causing problems at this point. You doing okay? Not really. What is so great about her that like many hot guys are just after? She's she's insecure, causes problems, chooses her fucking friend over her boyfriend all the time. Like what is so great here? So what, you're just gonna give up? I'm not giving up. Why you should. That's how much time you got. How much time is you need? <laughs> Why don't I come back at the end of your shift? Really? Uh, sure. <laughs> It'd be great if you had someone in your life where you could share your experiences with and talk out your problems. Most people, that's their boyfriend. But I guess it works if it's the person you cheated on your boyfriend with. <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. Oh, I would think I'm getting murdered. If someone after closing comes in, all the lights are off and starts making noises. Like before the song comes on, I'm like, oh my God, I am dying tonight. Oh, please be Marco. It's Marco. Marco said he's coming back. Mark? Marky Mark? Oh. Just break up! You're too toxic. You're pursuing a, a taking girl. What do you expect? Not mess up that room. I. You know what they've done in this film? They haven't like focused at all on Lee's girlfriend, and I love that for me. Oh boy, what's what's here? Wait, did she tell him that he was she was waitlisted, but she got in? Oh, she's creating problems out of nothing. Here we go. Hi. Hey, Marco. We uh, sorted things out. Uh, that's the screen. If you ever want to talk or need anything. No, stop putting yourself in this position, my guy. You were not the one for her. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, injury, injury, injury. 
Blood? Blood? Nice shot, asshole. Oh! Guys, can you please stop this? You still want L, and everybody here- <laughs> He's making a big scene! <laughs> He's a child! Handle this privately, my man. The sooner you can- <laughs> oh, no. No. Blood? Give me some blood. No blood? He can walk away. His feet are planted. He took a punch. He just ate it. He didn't even move. He just went boom, looked back. That's powerful. He doesn't even need to throw a punch. He's winning. He can just walk away. We're not doing this. Nice. Good work. Break up. Please say something. Break up. 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 I asked you not to let him back in our lives. Break up. Brother, break it up. Break it up. Break it up. They're breaking up. Yep. I am so sorry. I cannot believe that you just did that. I know I've messed up a lot. It doesn't change how I feel about you. Please, just give me a chance, and I'll show you. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! You're not even rich. Leave. He's taller and richer. <laughs> you think you had a shot? Monopoly! And I call the race car. Oh, hang on. We have to roll to pick our pieces. Oh, oh I hope El blows up. I will choose the doggy. Oh, you know, actually, sorry. I'm, I'm always the Scotty. Come I get on, El. Blow up, blow up, blow up. You were the piece. Sure. Didn't really want to play anyway. No, no. <laughs> Such a sore. I don't get to play as the character I wanted to. I don't want to play at all. Ah, everyone's eight. Everyone is mentally eight years old. Did an eight-year-old write this? I don't really care what you want. Oh. What? I'm sorry, Dad. She killed our mom. She can't just, like, walk into our lives. After killing our mom. Linda, you don't belong here. I want this movie to end with nothing being resolved. I kind of want it to end almost right now. Watching these people and their fucking childish actions makes me wish the worst for them. 1.5 speed. I don't care. She's not mom. I even took a job that I hate to earn more money to help you with school. You stand there and you call me selfish. No, no, I no El, no. Do you really think that you are the only person who needs love? No idea how disappointed you <laughs> I don't know if it's the 1.5 speed. Did he? He's not dropping the I'm so fucking disappointed in my daughter. Holy shit. That hits hard when it's from dad. Especially selfless dad. Holy shit. You have no idea how disappointed in you I am right now. Right, some, some people don't recover from that. Noah would come back. I wondered where he was. And then it hit me. He's not at the Hollywood sign. <laughs> this is the site of their first bang. Why is he here? It's been like a, a day and a half at least. Has he been here the whole time? What has he been eating? Has he been foraging for like rabbits and stuff? El, you and I have been trying so hard. <gasps> You've moved across the country. You've given up everything you wanted for me. Yeah, okay, that's, but that's for me to decide. I don't want to be one of the people who makes you put yourself last. I know better than trying to stop you going to Boston. <laughs> but if you do decide to go, it's not going to be with me. Ah, uh, this is so much better at 1.5 speed, too. So they're broken up. Awesome. Good news, guys. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> the machine's gone. I told you she was flaky. Well, forget it. Please don't do this. Elle, I have nothing more to say to you right now. You seriously cannot be this upset. It is just a game, Lee. The game? What do you think? I'm five? I do think you're five. Well, I think you're eight. But still, not much further. I know you're upset, but this- And I don't matter to you, really. God, it's like you are five. All of you. Don't, you can't talk. You'd be like, you're five. You're five too. Shut up. Never had to worry about anything. You've had everything handed to you your whole life. Oh, she just threw the spoiled rich kid shit in his face. Awesome. And now you accuse me of not caring about you? Awesome. You know everything that I've done this summer, everything for you and for everybody just probably proves that I care too much. I feel like everyone is having this scene with another person. Like her dad just had this scene with her. I hope she drops the, you will not believe how disappointed I am in you right now. Oh, oh, and a new rule. Yeah, all of our rules are done. You're 18 years old. You shouldn't be following childhood rules anyways. You can't hold on. Mark, give up, my guy. Sorry. I love this for her. Well, I love this for me, for her. Her family has turned against her. They brought her mother's murderer into the fold. Her boyfriend said, don't come to college with me. Her best friend turned his back on. Oh, you love to see it. And I think you are an absolutely brilliant woman. What? What about her? What about her? Break it down for me. No, it's just me. Oh, hey. They have to prove any shoreline demolition. They're tearing the house down, putting in condos. And um, Noah and I are pretty much done too. Elle, can I talk to you about something? Since you're not dating my son anymore and you're not friends with my other son, uh, you should leave. <laughs> what if the mom was a savage? Let's just put that energy into the air right now. Kick her out, kick her out. Kicker. Maybe it's time that you think about what it is that you want to do. Figure out what your dream is. Grow your own personality. Well, everything that's happened with Eleanor got me thinking about us. You know, I've watched them trying to keep up their long distance relationship. And... <sighs> I feel like I'm manifesting all these plot points. Everything is crumbling in the main girl's life. And now she is voluntarily removing herself from this movie. <sighs> Ever, ever since I went to 1.5 speed, everything has just gotten so much better. So you're breaking up with me? Maybe if we're meant to be together, we'll find our way back to each other. 
Oh, I hate that shit. She fumbled the bag. He's fucking rich. Her own fault right here. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Ew. Wait, so you love each other, but you're breaking up because it might not work out in the future? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hey, what are you doing here? Linda. She's like, can I come inside? She's like, no, 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 no. Sorry, I've got something going on back there. Puts down the knife. I would never dream of trying to replace your mother, but I did care about her a lot. And I have some stories that I'd love to share with you. I even have her head in my freezer if you want to see her again. <laughs> There's still a whole goddamn half hour left. Oh, so they dropped the alternate best friend. As soon as I said that that guy is like vanilla on screen, you just look at anything but him. Like he hasn't been in the film at all. Looking for someone? I have a feeling it's not me. Ah, oh, fuck you. I'm not the one. Well, what, what an emotionally mature response. I'm not gonna give him too much credit because he continually repeats his own mistakes, but for now it's all right. I'm going to New York. I want to try to work as a musician there. Wait, really? Really? You're not very talented. That's so weird. <laughs> but besides my family, there was only one thing keeping me in LA and that's all over now. He's such a simp. He was staying in California just to pursue a girl who already had a boyfriend. A girl who has already rejected him. Man's a simp. All right, it's just an emotional scene. Let's slow it down. So you got accepted to Berkeley. Why are you showing me this now? Just, I care about you both so much. <sighs> I'm so fucking bored. All right. Yep. But I haven't really gotten to spend much time figuring out what would make me happy. What are you saying? That I don't care about your happiness? No, no. Shut up for fucking two seconds and stop jumping to the worst conclusion. She's like, I haven't been focusing on my own happiness enough. And he's like, I don't make you happy. Fuck you. Just listen to maybe fucking 10 seconds. I'm really sorry about what I said at the arcade. So, um, you know where you want to go? <laughs> You remember me? You won the only dance competition I have ever judged. <laughs> she was the dance dance competition committee? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of reasons Ellen and I broke up. I didn't want her to make a decision she was going to regret. Plus, she's toxic as fuck. You know, but just because we're not dating anymore doesn't mean I'm going to stop protecting her. What? Find the USC. She wants to do video game design. <laughs> you can't just apply, like, two weeks before college starts. Can you? <laughs> I don't know. My college was a scam school, so... I knew Noah was leaving the next day. And the way that I felt about saying goodbye to Noah, actually the same way I felt about saying goodbye to the beach house. Oh. Please tell me this doesn't end with the beach house being saved. I hope you don't mind how I address this, but it's how I feel about you. Your warmth, guidance, and kindness have been some of the best parts of my life. She's just trying to latch to the rich family. She fucked over her relationship with both the sons, and now she's trying to latch onto the mom. She's a schemer. I, don't I can't trust begin it. to say how thankful I am. She's like, please leave me in your will. <laughs> Number 35. Always call your bestie every time you miss them. I love it. Thank you. You are horribly codependent. So, Mrs. Flynn, I believe you'll find the paperwork for the sale of the properties in order. We only need the slash signature to finalize the deal. <laughs> about the beach house getting saved is there a problem no problem at all i'm just not selling this house all of these old homes are being taken down just not this one no don't walk out with your chin held high people have worked countless hours to close this deal and at the very last second you just said fuck you all now don't disrespect people like that <laughs> i'm just mad because she's rich all right that's the true heart of it watching rich people keep their luxury homes isn't like a prideful moment for me i'll see you later man. not him not him. Why did you bring him back? He was 35 when you started shooting. The first one. It's been years. This man is pushing his 40s, and you're gonna tell me he's just graduating high school. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. L. Uh, you know what's funny is I was gonna make a "You're so rich you could buy the machine" joke before, but I just never got around to it. Take care of our game while I'm away. Classically. We were hoping that you might pitch any ideas you have for possible games or gaming products. If she pitches a kissing booth for games... <laughs> Nothing's coming to my mind. I just... I... Actually, I, I think we have everything we need. They really put her on the spot, though. That didn't seem super fair. I, I did have one idea. You know how in fantasy sports, people draft real-world sports athletes success. I think we're all aware of how fantasy football works. Uh, I, th I feel like you do need to explain it a little bit. I don't think there's a big crossover between sports people and kissing booth fans. So I don't think your audience really understands fantasy sports. What if we were to apply that to a large esports platform? And you could even call it fantasy sports. Fantasy. Fantasy. What, what's clever about that? And how much is the esports industry raking? Two billion. It kind of just seems like that might be worth something. Oh, and I also have this other idea. This fuck is, that's horrible. That sounds like something a fanfic writer would think that is a good idea. I don't feel good right now. I feel a little bit dead inside. Like, now that all the roasting is done, I think the roasting was like a defense mechanism from stopping the 
sadness that I feel watching this, but I've expended all the roasts and now my defenses are down. The sadness is pouring into me and I'm just feeling it. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Six years later. Let's see it. So Lee and Rachel did end up getting back together again. Why do they break up then? Why have a breakup scene if they're just gonna be back together the next time you see them? I... <sighs> oh my god! There it was. <laughs> and then I saw him. Hey, Shelly. Hi, Noah. Yeah, I'm designing games. I have a lot of creative freedoms. Creative freedom. Something that should have been exercised on this film. Could have had a psychopath mother-in-law character. I even have my own motorcycle. We should go for a ride together. What if she was with Marco and married and had a kid? Oh, that would be so awesome. Big fucking curveball at the end of the movie. Oh, well, I've got to I gotta go see some friends. And, uh, of course. No but I'll, uh, no, 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 I'll call you, okay? Sure, yeah, if you've got time. Oh, that was very passive aggressive. You know what, I came into this being a little bit sad that the, the film series was over just because of what it's meant to my channel. But now after watching this third movie, I couldn't be happier that I never have to experience this film again. If at any point they reboot The Kissing Booth, I will retire from YouTube for, forever. Like, I'm, I'm not coming back. <laughs> Dylan, The Kissing Booth 4 is coming back. No, no. Thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring. Go and take their air quiz. Figure out what kind of shampoo would work best for you. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next cringy film, which will be like probably two weeks from now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When is after three? Hold on. September 30th? Oh, that's too soon. All right, we have a month and a half now, September 30th. That's when After 3 comes out. So yeah, month and a half to, to recover from this, get our defenses back up. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. I don't have the energy for a toodles. I'm just too sad. This movie depressed the shit out of me. <laughs> See ya.